Hey loves, it's Britt, and in this video I'm continuing my Moon Through the Houses in Sinistry series. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about what it means to have your moon falling into someone's fifth house in Sinistry, or their moon falling into your fifth house. This is perfect because today is the Leo full moon, and it is falling in my fifth house. <laughs> So it's the perfect day to make this video. So this is probably the most fun overlay for Moon. Um, it brings a lot of pleasure and openness and playful inner child joy um, in the relationship. So this is one of the more romantic ones um, the moon person can really see the fifth house person is someone who they can have a lot of fun with they can have a lot of joy with it really in both people it brings out a very childlike um, innocent playful energy so fifth house um, overlays can be really really fun now, what it can sometimes do is when we're having all this fun, and the, the fifth house rules pleasure as well, and it rules children, um, love affairs, uh, gambling, um, risk-taking. So the only um, downside of this overlay, or one of the only downsides, is that I feel like with this person, when someone's moon is falling into your fifth house or your moon is going into their fifth house, you can be um, a little bit more like daring or risk taking. And um, you could end up doing things sometimes that maybe you wouldn't usually do because the way that I see fifth house energy is sometimes it can be so stimulating. Like this is a fire house. So Sometimes it can get the people acting a little bit um, overboard, you know, spend a little bit too much money here or, um, you know, do something a little bit too dangerous or daring or reckless, specifically with Mars in the fifth house. But with with Moon in the fifth house, it's like emotionally we can go a little bit overboard. Specifically, the Moon person can sometimes um, if just feel a lot and... Um, that's the thing is that with fifth house overlays there's a lot of feeling there's a lot of passion and um, playfulness and activity like I said it's a stimulating place to be but it can sometimes be um, not serious depending on other things like it, it can be sort of not dependable because that kind of energy can burn itself out because, you know, it could be even a bit exhausting to be in that much pleasure and, you know, go that overboard with someone. Now, this is typically not what's going to happen with this overlay, but I always try to share like positives and negatives of each overlay. And that's like the only potential negative really with fifth house stuff is that it's so much fun and it really gets a fiery outgoing side of the people out that sometimes it can lead to recklessness, right? Which is why it's, you know, um, the, the fifth house of gambling and, you know, speculation, right? So you just have to be careful of the feelings becoming so big and so passionate that becomes a bit overstimulating and then you can maybe act in ways that you regret. Now, Usually that's not going to happen um, with this one. The 5th and the 11th house, we really get like a beautiful um, friendship out of this. Like it's, uh, it's easy to want to get along. It's easy to share um, your better side or your more accepting side when you have um, someone's moon into your 5th house. It's like you're pretty agreeable about the way that they feel and their emotions are very stimulating you to you to get out there and shine and just um, be like an even more um, outgoing fun version of yourself. When someone's moon is falling into your fifth house, you might want to go shopping. You might want to go on a trip. You might want to um, do a creative project with them. Um, 
yeah, it, it can really uh, stimulate a lot of creativity. Now, in a romantic relationship, you could also feel the desire to have children with them. And you would have to see, you know, everything else going on. But the reason why this is good for children, and not even just actually having the children, although the fifth house does represent that, it's even more so like playing with children and like nurturing children. And um, so like both of you together because it brings out such a childlike warmth and expressiveness um, in you it's a really good placement for actually um, being around children and this could be someone that has children and brings them into your life the moon person brings children into your life um, or it could be someone that you really like the, the fifth house person classifies them as like okay, this is someone I would want to do that with, you know, that's someone I could see myself having children with, right? So um, it's, it's good for that. It's good for lots of creativity, um, lots of fun, lots of joy. This can be one of the most joyful overlays where we're we're dancing, we're laughing, we're singing, we're playing music together, we're doing art together, we're, if it's a, a friendship, we're going out and we're meeting men or women together and like finding the person to date together. Um, or if it's a romantic relationship, you know, we're going on all the dates together, we're going to the concerts together, we're making babies together, we're um, playing together. That's a, a big part of this overlay is we are actually playing together like maybe maybe we're cooking together maybe we're there's there's something very active about this overlay and the moon person feels like they have found someone where they can let all of their fun parts out all of their quirkiness out all of their um dreams and goals and like the fifth and eleventh house you get a really beautiful side of yourself brought out um, when you're landing there in someone's chart. And um, yeah, so there can be a lot of like self-realization, um, specifically for the moon person, that they realize a lot about themselves and they really feel a lot of um, gratitude and warmth and love for the house person. It's easy for them to share their heart with them. And they could find themselves even being like a bit more um, sharing of their emotions with the house person um, than any other overlay. Although it's not so much the emotions like I just talked about the fourth house where it's all this deep stuff like from childhood. This is more like we're sharing the the fun parts. We're sharing a little bit of the, you know, like the Leo parts of us, the parts of us that like to shine and want attention and want romance. It's like, those parts of us come out with this overlay. Um, so it's interesting to see, like you can see people become this shining version of themselves um, when this, this overlay is happening. So it can be very, very good. The downsides are just what I've said. Um, you know, a little bit too much, maybe too much emotional sharing, too much um, risk-taking or recklessness. Um, because it just feels so good. So a big theme of this relationship is it feels good. Emotionally, it feels fun and light and playful and joyful. So it can be really, really good. Doesn't necessarily show a serious relationship. You would need, you know, some Saturn and other things going on there to make it last because the thing with the fifth house too is sometimes it's so much fun. It's like um, you don't want to put labels on it. You don't, you know, there there's no need to turn it into something committed depending on other things, right? But um, so that can be another danger is that this is a, a very, very fun affair, you know, but you'd have to look at everything because for the right people, this is exactly the overlay that they would need to remain um romantic and in love for long periods of time because it does give that it gives plenty of romance and um emotional um like joy and um 
yeah, so it can be really good. It can be really flirty. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's my interpretation of this one. I'd love to know your experience of this overlay. Was it like this? Was it not at all? And you, you know, you'd have to look at the aspects and other overlays taking place. Um, but this one definitely injects like a fun playfulness to any relationship. So that can be very helpful. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching you guys. Um, love you guys. Bye.